The title of this video promises you on how to clone a website into WordPress website and that is exactly what I'm about to show you in the next few minutes. In this tutorial, I will show you how to clone any website that you love, maybe your own website, maybe someone else's website, you will clone the entire site and turn it to yours in less than 10 minutes. Sounds like a huge promise? Then watch this video. Now, if you're a web designer, maybe a website agency, a freelancer, or you make money online, having a website is almost a must, right? The problem is that trying to make money online on its own is a big work. Now, trying to start learning or designing a website from the scratch can even be a bigger burden. Or maybe you see a lovely HTML website and you like to use it. Then, that's why you need this tutorial because you can just pick any random website on the internet, grab it, clone it, and in a snap you have a brand new WordPress website in your hands. But before we start, I want to issue a disclaimer here that, in my opinion, it is really unethical for you to grab another person's website, clone it, and turn it exactly into yours, right? So actually, the purpose of this tutorial is for you to get this website and use it as a source of inspiration to edit and design your own. Since we know that it's quite legitimate to copy what's working already in order to make your own journey easier. But really, you don't want to copy another person's work page for page, post for post. Secondly, when you watch a step-by-step -step tutorial like this one, one thing you don't want to do is to keep jumping through. If you do, just a single step you miss might not make you get the desired result at the end. And really, you don't want to waste your time watching this video. So I have tried to make this video very short, straight to the point, no fluff. So make sure that you watch every single bit and follow this video step by step. So having said that, let's dive right into this amazing journey. All right, so to successfully clone our website, we are going to be using two tools that we are going to get online. So the first thing I want you to do is to make sure that your browser is up and then you want to go to Google and search for a particular tool called HTTrack. Okay, so I'm just going to come to HTTrack download here. I'm going to click on that. All right, so from here, just come to the first option here. You click on that. All right, so once this opens up for you, you want to come to this download option here. You want to click on it and then um, it's going to bring you here. You just come here and from here you can see platform. Uh, if you read through, you will see which of them is compatible with your computer. Okay, I use Windows 10 for instance, so I can go with the first one. And then once you pick out the platform that best work with your system, you want to come here and click on this particular link to download this particular software. I already have it downloaded on my system here and here is it so i will not be doing that again the second time but you just go ahead and do that um you download it and then you just run and install it like every other you know um software that you're installing online once you click on the downloaded file it will take you through the run and the installation process it's easy just follow these simple two three steps and then you get it downloaded okay if for adventure this particular link is not working out for you you can also use the alternate link which is the alternate site here, it will work for you, okay? So once you get this particular file downloaded on your system, you want to open it up. Okay, so obviously the next thing you want to do is to go back to the website that you want to, you know, clone. Um, you come to the URL address here, you just copy it out, and then you come back to your HD track software, okay? And then you come to the next button and click on next. All right, you're going to give your project a name. Let me just call it project one. You can give it any name that you feel like. Okay, for category, I'm going to leave it at new project. Okay, so by leaving this empty. Okay, for the base part, I'm going to leave it here at download. And then I'm going to click on next. Okay, so here, download website. Okay, yeah, this is what I want to do. So I'm going to leave this option here. All right, and then here is where I'm going to paste in the URL that I just copied a few moments ago. All right, and then for these other ones, I'm going to leave this empty. And for this, I'm going to leave it at default. And I'm going to click on next. Okay, please adjust connection parameters if necessary. I'm going to leave this the way it is. And here, I'm just going to check the disconnect when finished option. And then I will come in here and just click finish. 
And once I do that, my website that I want to clone will begin to get ready for download and I will just wait a little time for the whole website to be crawled by this software and get it downloaded. Of course, how long it's going to take will depend on how big the size of the website that you're trying to download is. So, okay, so once that is done, I'm just going to click on finish and then this website would have been downloaded into the download folder on my computer. All right, so here is my download, okay? Here's my download. So what I want to do right now is that I will want to zip all of these files into one. So I'm just going to come back here. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to send this to, where are you, to compress zip folder. I'm going to click on that. And then this website would have been zipped up, okay? So once this is done, we can go ahead to the second stage of this, which is to convert this website into a WordPress theme for us to use. So the next thing I want you to do right now again is to come open a new browser and go to another tool called HTML to WordPress.io. I will also leave the link to this tool in the video description. Once you do that, I'm going to check that up by pressing my enter key. All right, so this website is going to help us to convert this particular website that we just downloaded into a WordPress theme. If you're already used to designing website in WordPress, you would have known that the theme is about the most important aspect of your website when it comes to designing a website and determining how the interface and the front end of that website is going to be. So once we convert this particular downloaded website into a WordPress theme, all we need to do is to just upload the theme to our new website and it will take exactly the same form. Everything in the whole website would have been replicated into our new website that easily. And then in just one minute, two minutes, you can go ahead you know, finish up your website, edit it, and then you get a brand new website right on your hands. So for us to do that, you can either drag or drop your file in here or you click on the upload zip to convert. So if I click on the upload zip to convert here, I can go ahead to my computer and look for my website. Okay, so this is the one that I want to, you know, convert into my WordPress theme. So I'm just going to double click on that and then I'm going to wait for this process to be completed. All right, and once this is done, this website will appear as a WordPress website back end on this website so that you can easily check through it and then you know what it looks like. And once you are satisfied with what you're seeing, you can go ahead and download this particular website theme and then use it on your WordPress website. But okay, before you download, you need to know that this service will cost you a little fee of I think around $20. I will not be paying for this because I don't have any project on my end at this time. I just recorded this for those of you that either need to have a website or you don't have the time or resource to get one set up. This team will help you easily edit and use it to model your whole website and also for freelancers who might just have to clone copies of an original website that they took time to design and then edit for new clients which make getting the job done and making money easier than ever. So do you think $19, $20 is worth it? Let me know in the comment section below and if you encountered any difficulty while working this up, then drop your questions and I will also do my best to answer them. If I deliver value for you in this video, then support this video with a like. Also, if you want more tips on managing WordPress website, especially with a view to making more money online, then you should subscribe to this channel because I create digital marketing videos that help you make money and grow your business. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video.